Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Gallat, and I'm an orthopedic surgeon with a specialized focus in robotic-assisted hip and knee replacement surgery, in addition to total shoulder arthroplasty. So I was at Miami University in Ohio, uh, undergraduate for four years, and then I was at Trinity Evangelical Divinity School getting a Master of Arts in Religion from 1996 to 1998. Medical school was directly after from 1998 to 2002. And then I did a year of orthopedic research from 2002 to 2003. And my orthopedic surgery residency at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, 2003 to 2008. And shortly thereafter, my family and I uh, moved overseas to Kenya, where we spent 10 years doing humanitarian mission work at local mission hospitals. At that point, uh, wanting to get additional training in arthroplasty and with the specialized focus in robotics, did a one-year fellowship at the Mayo Clinic in Phoenix, Arizona here. When I returned to the U.S., uh, one of my goals of fellowship at Mayo Clinic in Arizona was to learn robotic-assisted total knee replacement. You base the program on CT scan obtained from each patient individually. All of the planning is done even before uh, the cuts are made, which allows just dialing in the angles and the amounts of bone that are cut so that the knee is well balanced in both flexion and extension, that feels stable, that feels secure under the patient, and that is pain-free. Robotic-assisted total knee replacement, I believe, really increases the accuracy during surgery, allowing for a better result for the patient in the long run. I was trained in orthopedic surgery during a time when the primary approaches for total hip replacement were either the posterior or the lateral approach. But since that time, I've transitioned my practice to an entirely anterior-based uh, approach for total hip replacement. And um, the reason for that is I, I truly believe that um, for patients there is less pain and quicker recovery, um, ability to get up and about and move, some of them without any pain at all. Um, it's, it's truly remarkable. The individual patient has different requirements in terms of positioning of the implants, especially the, the socket portion. When you compare robotic assisted versus the more traditional approach for total hip arthroplasty, the reason I use robotic assist is because it improves accuracy exponentially. There's a lot of patients with shoulder arthritis. Anatomic total shoulder replacement in the past had somewhat of a variable reputation, and part of that was the indications weren't well-defined. And today, understanding the cause of the arthritis and then the appropriate treatment has allowed the success of this surgery to go up dramatically. Now we're, we're really using specific types of shoulder replacements for specific types of conditions uh, for instance, uh, patients that have arthritis that results from a chronically torn rotator cuff are good candidates for what we call a reverse total shoulder replacement. And what that is, is the, the old socket is replaced with a new ball and the old ball becomes the socket. The other muscles of the shoulder take over and provide, in many cases, excellent range of motion for the patients. Traditionally, uh, total shoulder replacement surgery has been associated with a lot of pain. This is greatly improved now because of more modern techniques of anesthesia and using peripheral blocks and also just precision with the surgery. All these together have resulted in um, remarkable changes in, in pain levels for shoulder surgery. Um, I am a, a very blessed man. I have a, a wife who uh, I've been married to for 25 years, and we have seven kids, um, ranging in age from 23 all the way down to three. So as you can imagine, our household is very active. Our two oldest kids are both married. They live here in the valley. My wife's extended family and parents are here in the valley, 
So it's, it's just great being home. Really enjoy, uh, aside from spending time uh, with my family, cooking for my family, and just a healthy, um, active lifestyle that uh, living in Phoenix really allows. We're quite involved at Hope Bible Church where our entire family attends. I'm kind of in a unique situation in that I've been in practice, but in a unique environment overseas in Kenya having treated thousands of patients and done thousands and thousands of surgeries, and yet at the same time, just starting a new practice here in the U.S. But the advantage that I have is that with the experience that I've had in the past and with the newness of the fellowship training in robotics and anterior hip replacement, total shoulder arthroplasty, I feel like I can offer patients that kind of experience with expertise that they're looking for.